I'm here with my Dash egg bite maker and I'm just about to make myself some breakfast so I thought I would film it. I'm having a green pea and scallion frittata. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So this is my Dash egg bite maker. I've used it so much it's starting to fall apart. This is missing the plastic piece on top here. So the light is on. We're just waiting for the light to go off and we're going to start cooking. Um, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is put some butter on the bottom. I have found that the non-stickiness of uh, this appliance is not as non-sticky as it used to be. I have some frozen scallions that I'm going to add. I get a lot of scallions from my local farm share throughout the year and I can't eat them all while they're fresh so what I do is I cut them up and I freeze them and then they last throughout the entire year. Um, so let's shut that. I'm gonna let that cook for, I don't know, a minute. I just grabbed a bag of frozen peas out of my freezer and let's put some frozen peas in here also. Now let's shut this and we'll cook that for about two or three minutes until the peas are no longer frozen. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's see what's going on in here. Everything is looking good. Now I am adding two beaten eggs. I'm gonna add them to the center. Hopefully it won't go over the edges. That looks really good. I'm going to sprinkle it with some dill. And let's shut this. And I'm going to cook it until the egg is set. It's been about four or five minutes now. I'm starting to hear like crackling noises coming out of this. So let's open it. And yeah, it does not look like it's done yet. The, uh, the top looks a little, yeah, it's a little wet. Usually if you, you shake it, you can see what areas are wiggling and they could use a little bit more cooking. So let's cook it for about another minute. Okay, it's a minute later and I'm hearing a lot of sizzling noises coming out of here. So let's open this up now. Yeah, this is now done. See how puffy it got? So I'm gonna unplug it. And actually, I'm not going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in because this edge is nice and puffy and then there's still um, quite a bit of moisture here. So I'm going to cook it for another minute. Okay, it's been a few more minutes. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, this looks amazing. And now this is done. Look how beautifully browned the edges are. And there's some browning on top. It's nice and puffy. So let's unplug it and let's carefully take it off. It comes out really nice. This looks delicious. And obviously if you like cheese, you could put cheese on it or in it. I'm not the biggest cheese fan. You could also add salt and pepper. I haven't added anything other than the dill. And that's what it looks like, really good. This is such a nice breakfast, especially now as we're heading into spring. We have the green onions, which are sometimes referred to as spring onions. And we have the green peas, which is also an early spring crop. And the dill just pulls it all nicely together. And yeah, this is a really, really nice breakfast. And it's just an idea of what you can do with your Dash egg bite maker other than making egg bites. You can make really healthy frittatas. And so, yeah, this is what I'm having for breakfast today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.